Hi guys, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin. Today we are going to be exploring part of this abandoned motel um, here outside of Columbus, Ohio. Now, this thing is actually currently for sale, but they are only selling it for development land, which makes sense because this structure is in terrible condition and will probably need to go. Um, this thing has sat here abandoned for as long as I can remember. I actually remember driving by it a lot as a kid and it was always boarded up but now that they are selling it it is not as boarded up so we're just gonna take some looks around it because if anyone asks we are interested in the real estate here so these are very small rooms Reminds me a lot of the Shamrock, kind of, with how small their rooms were. And you can see so much of it is still boarded up, but then other parts of it... I mean... I have to say, if this was like a really cheap motel when it was open, it wouldn't be that bad. Especially, I believe, we are right next to the zoo. Because my memory of always seeing this... Um, growing up was on the way to the zoo so I mean if it was like 40 bucks a night that wouldn't be too bad still mattresses and stuff but again I, I drove by this place about a week ago on my way to Chicago and I'm driving by it now on my way to Michigan and this place has been just sitting open to the elements for God knows how long. So even though, I mean, I was going to say it's not that bad, but it is incredibly bad in here. But it's not like falling in, at least at this point. Um, oh, that's fancy. Yeah, this place will probably have to come down and probably will come down soon. Oh, wow, look at that. That's pretty cute. But yeah, I mean the ceilings are peeling, obviously the wood here is either being pulled off or falling apart. So I don't know if maybe it was bought by someone who thought they could save it and then realized, oh no, it can only be used for like development purposes. I mean you can tell, they came in and they cleaned it out, they put all the glass in the drawer of this thing. So that's kind of interesting. Oh. So I guess, I'm guessing these are the bigger ones right here. Um, or just interconnected rooms maybe? Yeah, I've still got the mattress and stuff left behind. It's kind of wild. And I think there's literally only one more area we can actually enter, which is at the very front. So you can see these are all still boarded up. And you can look through the windows and see, wow. Whoa. That's actually a really nice dresser. The fact that they did not save that is insane. And then, oh, so this would have been the entryway, like the offices where you'd come in and um, check in and stuff. So, wow. See back there, it looks like a little kitchen area. Bathroom with the tub in it. But I'm guessing this is the bedroom where whoever either owned this place or whoever was on duty slept. I mean, not bad. I can't lie, I would... Especially if you got to live there like all the time, that wouldn't be too bad. Let's see, I can't really get back there, but let me zoom in a bit so you guys can see. Woo! Ooh, and look at that arch. I almost missed that arch. So this has been the abandoned motel out here in Columbus, Ohio. 
Now, I believe this was called the Circle Motel, but that, I could be mixing this up with a different place. It is currently for sale, um, but by the time this video goes up, I imagine with how popular this highway is, this land will have been bought and this will probably be gone. So here's one last look at the motel. And thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Thanks for watching.